Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a transparent offset, um, also known as a negative offset, in Cricut Design Space. I've already got these designs up here. Um, we're gonna recreate them together. I just wanna talk about a few things I did. First of all, I turned off the grids here. If you, know, if you don't know how to do that, you click this little square in between the zeros and you can get your half grid, you can get your full grid, or you can turn it off. I have also flattened all of these elements so that you cannot see the cut lines. When I'm creating, they will not be flattened, but I will go through that process so that you can see how I made it look clean like this without any outlines. Um, okay, so we can create this transparent outline around text and around images. And just so you can see absolutely what I'm talking about, I've just got my shapes here. I've got this square. I'm gonna drag it out and put it behind the designs I created. And you can see these first ones here, there is a negative or transparent outline around the word spring and around the tulips and around all the text here. On this one, that outline is just white. It is not transparent, it is not cut out. But when you take this background off, it's not noticeable that that's not cut out. You might think that it looks just like this if you were gonna put it on to a shirt or something and then you get it printed and you realize, oh, that's not at all what I was looking for. So I'm gonna show you how to make that transparent outline around all of your things. I'm gonna delete that square. Uh, we're gonna recreate both of these in Cricut Design Space. I have used all elements from Design Space. Some of them are uh, Cricut Access items. If you do not have Cricut Access, you can get elements from um, Creative Fabrica if you have a Creative Fabrica membership. Um, that's like $3.99 a month. And then everything's free, so I'll link to that if you wanna give that a try. All right, so the first thing we're gonna recreate this spring one, we're gonna grab the shape the little coquette frame, the tulip, and I'll type in the text. So shapes, we want this guy. And just drag him down, out to make kind of a rectangle shape. And let's turn it blue. Awesome, okay, let's go get, um, come to images and we'll get our frame. I typed in bow frame, I actually used this one, so I'll just select that. Put it on the page. Oh, I didn't mean to make it larger. And then I will size it to fit my rectangle. We are moving along, let's go get the tulip. So I would type in tulip. I believe this is what I used. Come plop this over here and size it to where it's going to look right. And I want the tulip to be behind the border. There we go. So I just used my layers panel and I drug the tulip down until it was behind the frame there. And now we need our text. So text tool, type in spring. And this is a font called Babette. This is a uh, Cricut Access font. Okay. And we'll put this guy here. So here is the beginning of our design. This is the basics that we're going to start with. Well, that's all welded and flattened together. Okay, I'll just have to keep scrolling back up. I was gonna kind of put this down beside it. Okay, let's get our colors. So I turned the tulips yellow. So I'm gonna select my tulips. They are grouped together. I just want the petals. So I'm going to select the petals and then I'm gonna come and turn them a yellow color. That's nice. And then spring was going to be a pink color. And yes, this bow is also gonna be a different pink. When you're dealing with text, you need to go ahead and weld it all together so that you're not getting any um, overlap in your script letters, if it is a script text. So I've got my text selected. I'm just gonna hit combine and weld and now there are no overlapping lines there in my text. I am ready to start creating these outlines. Let's do the flowers first. Okay, so I'm gonna come and grab my offset tool. 
and it's got a 0.56 offset. Um, that's pretty good for right now. You could change it to whatever you wanted it to be, but I'm just gonna apply that 0 0.056. Okay, now in the first example, I took this offset and I turned it white. You are welcome to do that if you want a white offset. If you want a transparent offset, I'm gonna turn the offset back to black, what it was um, to begin with. Okay. So we want to slice this offset out of the blue background so that we are taking away or making transparent that outline. So I'm gonna select my blue background and my offset, holding shift to select them both, and I'm just going to slice. And now I can pull this out and this out. And if I move this guy back down to the bottom, that is a negative outline. To confirm, I will grab a shape, put it over here, drop it to the bottom, and you can see that is black, now it's white, now it's black. It's a transparent outline that we put on our tulip. Let's do the same thing with our script. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put the offset on it. It's going to give me the same offset I used before, and because I wanna keep the design cohesive, I'm gonna keep that exact same setting. I will hit apply. Now we need to slice this offset from the flower. The flower is in two different pieces. So we're just gonna take the piece that the word is on top of. So I'm gonna select the bottom of my tulip. I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna select this offset of spring and I will slice. Okay, now I can pull that out and delete it and pull that out and delete it. Not that. There we go. Okay, so it's sliced out of the bottom of the tulip. Now I need to slice it out of the blue background. So what do we do? We get another offset in here, apply, select our offset, select our blue background, and slice. That is now sliced out of the tulip and the blue background. I'm gonna send my blue background to the back. Here is that design, exactly like this one. We recreated all of it. Now, I will take everything here and flatten it together. So if I move this guy up here beside this guy, we 100% just recreated that design. Okay, stick with me, we're gonna do it one more time. Let's do this lemon one. Okay, so I came into images and I got a lemon. It was this, that's huge. Okay, and then we did Sweet Summer. I do not remember the fonts that I used, so I'm gonna come figure that out. These are all flattened. I have to unflatten them to get down to the actual fonts. So I'm gonna hit unflatten, and I'm gonna select this one and unflatten that one. Okay, so the word sweet. If I right click it, and I scroll down to image info. It is called Emiline, E-M-I-L-I-N-E. -I -I -E. Okay. And then this one, summer, do the same thing, right click it, scroll all the way down to image info, and it is BFC holiday party. Okay, so let's get our text. Sweet was in Emmeline. And then Summer. I believe I had that in all caps. Let me go all cap that. 
was in BFC. I don't remember. Let's see, BFC party or something like that. Let's type party. There it is. Okay, so those were the fonts that we used for this one. I did not have a capital S. Let me delete that. Lowercase s. There we go. So we put sweet here in the middle and we took summer. We put it on the bottom, but we curved it. So here's my font. I'm going to come up to curve and I'm going to drag to the left to make that curve under. And I believe I rotated it. So I've got my mouse on this little handle here. If I drag it out just a little bit, my handle will turn into a curve and then I can rotate my design. Okay, uh, it does need to be a little bit bigger. All right, that's, that's what I'm going with. I'm gonna make sweet a little bit bigger. I'm not trying to be exactly precise. Okay, let's change these colors. The leaves were, it's grouped together again. So let me go get my leaves here. I selected my drop down arrow to get to both parts of my lemon. Turn my leaves to this kind of a more muted green. Turn my lemons to this yellow. Is that what they were? Nope, they were this yellow. Okay, and so the word sweet, was this green and summer was that pretty pink. Okay, so there's the full design. Now let's do the slicing or create the negative or transparent, whatever you wanna call it, offset. So here's my text. I'm gonna give myself an offset, apply. We are going to slice the offset out of the lemons. So I'm gonna select my offset. I'm gonna come down here and select my lemons by holding uh, control and selecting both of those and slicey beautiful let's pull that out and that out and that out okay all of this is trash we don't need it anymore let's um, move the lemon back down let's just put it on the bottom here okay okay Let's um, make the transparent offset for the word summer. So here I've got my word. I need to create my offset first. The first step in creating transparent outlines is to create an offset. So there that is. There is my offset layer. I need to slice it out of these lemons, but there's a few different lemons up here. I need to grab the ones that I just sliced the word sweet out of. So I clicked on it and it highlighted right here for me. So I know I need this lemon and then I need this offset. So I've selected them both. I've got the offset selected, got the sliced lemons selected and I hit the slice button. And now all this stuff is here that I can remove again. And I have recreated that design. Let me group all this together. Right click and group. Make it a little bit smaller. Bring it over here. Eh, I thought that was all grouped in together. We'll put these side by side so you can see them. And again, to make this look like that, to get all of these um, cut lines out of there so you can see how pretty your design is going to be, you just select it flatten it and there it is uh, when you're ready to cut you just unflatten and change it back to a cut there you go and there are your cut lines again all right guys that's all i have for you we'll see you next time